Hi, fourth graders. Welcome to lesson 11, part two. Today we are talking about word problems with hidden questions. And our goal is to explore hidden information in multi-step word problems. And we're just going to be talking about those hidden questions. So the first thing we need to do in a multi-step word problem is to identify if there is a hidden question or some information that we haven't quite been told in the question. So here's an example. Mrs. Norton bought two packages of white cheese with eight slices in each pack. She bought three packages of yellow cheese with 16 slices in each pack. How many more slices of yellow cheese than white cheese did she buy? So the first thing we need to figure out is what do we need to find? And the answer is, we need to find how many more slices of yellow cheese than white cheese that Mrs. Norton bought. So I often underline the question that's the final answer that I need to figure out, just to help me keep that in mind. Okay, so that's what we need to find out. But what are the hidden questions here? Have we been given all of the information that we need for this? How many more slices of yellow cheese than white cheese did she buy? Are we told how many slices of white cheese and how many slices of yellow cheese that she bought? Not exactly. So I'm going to think those, I'm thinking those are my hidden questions. We need to figure out how many slices of yellow cheese Mrs. Norton bought and how many slices of white cheese she bought. We've got enough information here to figure it out, but we haven't explicitly been told. So those are my hidden questions. So now that I've figured out the hidden questions, I need to answer them to help solve the problem. So how many slices of white cheese? Well, we know Mrs. Norton bought two packages of white cheese with eight slices in each pack. So let's solve that. Two times eight equals 16. How many slices of yellow cheese? This is our other hidden question because we weren't exactly told we have to figure it out from the information we're given. We're told Mrs. Norton bought three packages of yellow cheese with 16 slices in each pack. Three times 16. And that equals 48. Now remember, our final question is how many more slices of yellow cheese than white cheese did she buy? So we're not finished yet. We've answered the two hidden questions. And now we need to use that information to solve our final question. How many more slices of yellow cheese? So this is a subtraction problem. 48 minus 16 equals 32. We took the yellow cheese slices, took away the number of white, and that gives us the difference. How many more slices of yellow cheese than white cheese did she buy? 32 more slices of yellow cheese than white cheese. So we had to figure out those hidden questions that we needed to find the answers to before we could solve our multi-step word problem. I think we did pretty well. Those questions 11, 12 and 13 are on the page that we are working on today in your math activity pack. But I have another one for you to practice before you work on your activity pages. Here's another question. There are 18 windows on each side of a rectangular building. It takes the window washer three minutes to wash each window. How many minutes will it take to wash the windows? Well, what do we need to find? We need to find how many minutes it will take to wash the windows. Do we have all the information that we need? Are there any hidden questions? Hmm. How many windows are there? We know how many minutes it takes to wash each window. We know it takes three minutes. But we haven't been told exactly how many windows there are. So this is the hidden question. How many windows are there? So let's answer this hidden question to help solve the problem. We have been told that there are 18 windows on each side of a rectangular building. So I'm imagining a rectangular building and we know a rectangle has four sides. So I'm going to multiply four by 18. 
So there's 18 windows on each of the four sides of the building. Four times 18 is 72. So that tells me there are 72 windows altogether. I've solved my hidden question. Now I need to use that information from my hidden question to solve the final problem. How many minutes will it take to wash the windows? Well, I know there's 72 windows and I know it takes three minutes to wash each window. Three times 72 equals 216. So it will take 216 minutes to wash the windows. But I had to figure out the hidden question and solve it before I could solve this word problem. So before we go to work on and practice those word problems, here are just the steps that we've gone through for solving word problems with hidden questions. I'm going to keep this window problem up above just to refresh our memory as we talk through this. The first step that we have done to solve a word problem with a hidden question was we had to find the final question we need to solve. And you might want to underline it like I did or circle it or highlight it. Do whatever you need to do to just remind you what is it I'm really trying to figure out. And with the window problem, it was how many minutes will it take to wash the windows? Second step, to find the hidden question, we might need to ask ourselves, what information do I still need to solve this problem? Can I just solve how many minutes it will take to wash the windows? No, because this doesn't tell me exactly how many windows there are. So there, I figured out my hidden question because I know there's still some information that I need. So after I solve the hidden question using the other information that I'm given in the problem, then I can solve the final question using the answer to the hidden question. That's step four. So when you go to your activity pages, pages 67 and 68 in your math um, packet, it's also the last two pages of class activity 2-11. You worked on the first two pages with Mrs. Wade yesterday or last lesson. So now we're doing the final two pages for 2-11. And the first one is labeled Discuss Problems with Hidden Questions. And we worked through questions 11, 12, and 13 with Mrs. Norton's cheese slice problem. We did that together. You have questions 14 <clears throat> and 15 to solve at the bottom of that page. And then the second page has some mixed problem solving. You can use what you've learned from this lesson and the last word problem Lesson with Mrs. Wade to solve these last two questions. And then we have Puzzle Penguin who needs you to see if he has made an error or not. And you can write a response at the bottom of the page. After that, there will be an exit ticket to complete. Be looking out for those hidden questions in word problems. Sometimes you're given a lot of information but you just need to use that information to find exactly what you need to solve the final question. Good luck.